I, I have to I have to interject. The Star Wars nerd has to has to mention something. Um, a little correction: Kylo Ren is actually directly based off of Jason Solo from oh, okay. from the Star Wars books. I wanted to start today Asparagus Dikeries Book Club, but not any boring book club. Uh, the cool Star Wars book club. What's oh. that? That's my oh. book. I'm reading. Oh, it fits with your shirt, so. <laughs> yeah. They are uh, my my. Well, I'm not gonna go too much into that because we're gonna talk about it later. But my main introduction introductions to Star Wars was the books. And when I was a teenager, I read so many Star Wars books, which sadly, to my great, 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 great pain, are not canon anymore. They got cut off when Disney bought it. But in my heart, they're still canon, because this is what Star Wars was for me. There are two trilogies that I want to bring you back, uh, back a bit of love, and you guys probably have heard about them. first one is um, is a bit very, very much known because the main character, uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn, was brought back and featured into Star Wars Rebels. But before Thrawn was in Rebels, he was the main antagonist of uh, this series that was called Star Wars The Thrawn Trilogy. So the Thrawn Trilogy, without any spoilers... Because uh, I want you to uh, to have some uh, to read the books. By the way, any of you re 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 read those books yet? I've only read one yes. Star Wars book, and it's called Dark Disciple. Okay. Oh, I've read that one. Yeah, go on. Uh, the Throne trilogy kind of uh, takes place uh, almost after the the three movies, Episode three, uh, four, five, six, and it shows the struggles of the uh, newly created uh, New Republic trying to uh, fight against the remnant of the empires because apparently the empire did not dissolve completely after the Battle of Hoth. And you have this genius tactician that really, really, really is into arts. And he studies in, uh, civilizations, their art, and he finds out their military, uh, the way they, they, they're going to react in a battle, by their heart. And I think they brought it a little bit in Star Wars Rebel. Not that much from what I heard. But in the book, it's so impressive. We have some new new aliens we discover, new planets, um, old planets, and we even have some uh, more Jedi. That for once, there's a good reason why this guy survived Order sixty six. I'm not gonna talk too much, but that's my big biggest pet peeve, uh, pet peeve with Star Wars. Uh, all these Jedi that survive uh, Order sixty six. This one has a good reason. Uh, there's cloning involved. There's a it links to the f first trilogy that was not even released yet. Um, I feel they 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 took notes from these books because uh, there's a lot of cloning involved. They talk about the Clone Wars. They give some history about the Clone Wars before we have the movie. So that was super interesting to me. And um, Luke Skywalker's do some very, very, very impressive stuff. I would highly recommend the first book is called Star Wars Heir to the Empire. Second book is called Star Wars Dark Force Rising. And the last one is called Star Wars The Last Command. And it shows how our main hero, so uh, Lando, Luke, uh, Leia, and Han Solo. And a new hero that's called Talon Card that is pretty, pretty cool. And his assistant, Mara Jade. Probably, guys, you've probably heard of Mara Jade. This is the introduction of Mara Jade. Ooh, um, you don't know Mara Jade, Moose? I don't, I don't know Mara Jade. That sounds like a marijuana slang. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mara Jade is probably the coolest uh, woman character in the entire of Star Wars, my view. I want to, I want to, I want to put say something. Go ahead. Lodge Ventress. I uh, so Mara Jade has never been in any films, but she was a part of the trading card game that was really big, and there was a actress who was cast as the role of Mara Jade. Really? Yep. I have her autograph. It's up there. Gonna show it to us. I mean, it's it's like it's it's up at the top. <laughs> it's up at the top. Okay. Yeah. Well, as it should be, Mara J should be on top. Yep. No puns intended, or <laughs> or maybe I don't know. <laughs> so Luke yeah, probably so, wouldn't complain. Luke would probably not complain exactly, but that's that's kind of a little spoiler. So no, yeah, guys, really. 
the Thrawn trilogy, highly recommend it if you want some well-written books about a, a lot of, um, of war strategy, Star Wars after all, all the battles, uh, space battles are described in a way that from a tactician point of view, they spend pages and pages and they explain that they've one ship's going there, this ship's, no, but if this ship's going there, we're going to send these there. And there's, I've learned about strategies for RTS games that I actually use to these days. And when I play Star Wars Empire at War, which is a game we're giving away today. So make sure you enter the giveaway by Spark. putting in the uh, chat exclamation point win free games. Very nice free game. Thank you so much. Smooth. When I play this game in space, sometimes I remember what Grand Admiral Trons did in the book and I use these, um, these bait and switch strategies and sometimes it won me a game. Uh, I do want to say that uh, the author of these uh, three books is Timothy Zahn, who they have hired to write new canon books as well. And he's actually was in charge of uh, writing the Thrawn books that are now canon. As oh, well. really? Yep. Are those, I, yeah, that was my question next, because I remember going to like Barnes and Noble and stuff or whatever Canadian version of that is. And uh, um, going to the book section with Star Wars and I see this the book cover is just this blue face with red eye guy on oh, yeah, it. Yeah, I've seen it. Where the entire yeah. cover is just half of his face. Yep. Like, is that is that the canon one or the non-canon one? That's the canon. That is the canon one. Oh, okay. That I never read because I was scared about what it is. I didn't even know it was the same. Uh, it was Timothy Zahn that wrote him. Yep. So they basically hired a guy to say, can you come see that book you wrote that we threw in the garbage? Can you come back and write it again for us, please? Just the, you're, the character that... Thrawn is going to be like, you know, a few years earlier. Okay. So it's kind of a prequel. I mean, so he, he's in the, uh, you know, it's before A New Hope that all that takes place now. Okay. I'm going to go quickly through my second recommendation because there's a second theory, a uh, second trilogy of books that I really like. It's uh, Star Wars, the Jedi Ac Academy trilogy. Uh, do you yeah. read this one with Admiral Dallas and Kib Duran yep. and Exar Kun? Mm -hmm. So in this one, the uh, uh, it starts by Ancelo being captured by the Empire and sent to work as a slave in the space mines of Kessels. Uh, this, uh, this takes place after the Tron trilogy, because what was cool at this time, all these books that came out somehow... All these uh, writers somehow read the previous books and always made sure to respect what was written before them. That was an incredible time because you had 25 books and somehow it would be like a Marvel Cinematic Universe. They would be all connected. And if uh, this guy that's called Kevin Anderson, Kevin G. Anderson. Kevin Feige. Uh, no, Kevin G. Anderson. <laughs> better in my view. Uh, respected everything that happened before in the Tron trilogy. So at the end of it, yeah, Ansel is being captured. He finds out this little boy in the mind that's uh, somehow is force sensitive makes a, a an escape with Chewie and this little guy is called Kip Duran and they end up stealing a ship and they uh, through sheer luck they just find out in the Ma uh, in the middle of nowhere and they find out some uh, one installation where they're building a special weapon uh, some, some of you are gonna roll their eyes says yes another special weapon yeah uh, it's protected by four star destroyers that have been cut out from everything that happened before. So that's really fun to go and see the, the reaction of these guys that think the Empire is still at the eight of their power. They still think they're the big shot in the galaxy. And then they're being told, no, you've been vanquished. You've been thrown away. The Empire is nothing. You guys have been cut away, cast away from everyone. You had no communication and they they don't react so well to it. So uh, the story is uh, mostly about how Grand uh, Admiral, uh, I mean, I don't think she's Grand Admiral. She's Admiral Dallas, uh, is a first woman Admiral uh, featured in the book reacts to learning that her the empire has been uh, destroyed and tries to with only four star destroyers tries to take it away and uh, how virginia she is because she does a lot a lot of damage with sim only four star destroyers it also follows luke skywalker and his quest to rebuild the um jedi academy and that's what i would have loved the new movies to be uh linked out instead of having uh Having Kylo Ren being the one guy that fails, Kylo Ren is kind of, a, in some way, a little bit of a Kip Duran guy, well, I, but I feel lamer. Like, I feel like the 
this most recent trilogy would have been successful if they still kept the idea of Luke trying to restart the Jedi Academy and wa- yeah. and be about the one that got away, but he reels him back. But the one that got away is related to him. So, but you, that's you know pretty much really it. Strong. That's what's in this one because uh, Kyotron is the one that got away. He gets possessed by a uh, dark Sith that lives in the uh, in the, the ruins of the temple called uh, Exar Kun. And uh, yeah, he creates a lot of stuff. And uh, just remember, they steal a, a super weapon from the Imperial installation. And you have this little guy that's being taught he's a Jedi. Uh, he finds out he has some, some kind of powers. And then he kind of pretty much turns to the dark side and have access to that. So it's a very, very, very fun and dr- dramatic story. And the characters of uh, Kyab Juran for a long time was my favorite Jedi. The uh, I, I have to I have to interject. The Star Wars nerd has to has to mention something. Um, a little correction: Kylo Ren is actually directly based off of Jason Solo from oh, okay. from the Star Wars books. Uh, Jason Solo is also the uh, son of Han Solo and Princess Leia, who does turn to the dark side uh, under the name Darth Cadis. His sister Jaina solo yeah. i think i remember actually marries kip against uh jedi rules and they actually get together and do some do some smushing smushy smushy and yeah. they also have another kid which which is called are you talking about han solo and princess leia have another yeah, kid yeah their third kid uh anakin anakin, anakin. anakin solo yeah yep. anakin solo and Luke Skywalker and Mara Luke. Jade also have a son named Ben Skywalker. So that's it for today's uh, Spargus Book Club. Please have a look. This is called the Jedi Academy Trilogy. First, uh, The first book is called Jedi Search. Second ber- book is called Dark Apprentice. And the last one is called The Champions of the Force. Uh, that being said, guys, thank you so much, guys. I see a few of you uh, enter the giveaway. I made a mistake. I'm going to have to come clean. Everyone that entered the giveaway so far, you were not into the giveaway because I set it up imp- incorrectly. Obviously, Aspire oh Goof, go ahead. Gosh. So please jump in the giveaway again. Let me just see if it works this time. <laughs> Everyone that set it up. Uh, okay, Achilles, I see you're, you're you're in the giveaway now. Salty, please go again. I see that uh, Thirsty Sully, you went into it. Kinesif, please, please put your name back again in the giveaway. I'm so sorry. It happens. Uh, we're doing it live. There you go exclamation point win free game moose you can put your name but your name's not going to be out of the bag anyway (laughs) um can i can i add one more thing about your book stuff because i absolutely i absolutely love it asparagus like uh, oh god i could talk about these star wars books all day yes one of the things that i absolutely love about the original what was canon before disney bought them out was that didn't matter who wrote it they all the authors worked with each other so there is actually a you look at any of these books there is a timeline yes. of all of the books that you can read in order and the 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 further in the timeline books will probably mention books that were previously in the timeline so after the the trilogies that uh you talked about there's actually another series of books that spans like 15 books long yeah and it's just if you are interested in reading if you if you can can block out that it's no longer canon but just want a good story reading the original uh i can't remember what they call it now because it's not canon it's they give it another name legends um these stories are phenomenal and i recommend them because there's some shitty authors like the first star wars book uh that ever came out i can't remember the name of it but it is a hot pile of garbage i own it <laughs> uh but it's a hot pile of garbage but they get so much better um yeah just if you enjoy enjoy stories in this massive universe that um was created by george lucas but that these other authors expanded on it so much just delve right in and just how non-canon it is that's what i'm confused because there's one i think it's true said becker when uh luke goes to uh, a plant when he discovers the night sisters and mm-hmm. he kind of falls in love with one of the Night Sister, uh, and then the Night Sisters were kind of used now. Now they they're canon back. They brought it into uh, Clone Wars, I think. Uh, yep. it's, in a different way, they're more like magic now. 
Uh, the way I in see their, it. And they're related to Asaj, Asaj Ventress. They made Asaj Ventress like a descendant of them. So, yeah, and they made the, uh, yeah, and they're, they're the one who made the uh, Darth Maul's brother, right? Yeah. Yes. Yep. yep. So, it, it, all these stuff we have now somehow comes from that universe they thrown in the garbage, which is pretty weird. Yeah, well, yeah, they just they keep pulling stuff from him and I think I think it's great. You know, and a lot of the stuff that happens before um a Phantom Menace technically is still canon, like a lot of the old Republic stuff or the Darth Bane stuff, until they write something different, like I'm still counting it as as freaking canon. So I think they they also put Exart Kun in the, the old Republic game. Yep. Not Knight yeah. of the Old Republic, but the Old Republic. So they had th- at least two perfect trilogy that was just awesome with big battles, ups and that, and uh, and now they decided to wrote the uh, their own movies when they could have uh, adapted the uh, the Admiral Dallas series that would have been awesome. Uh, the Tron would have been even even more awesome. But yeah, all that section when the Leia's hiding uh, on Kashyyyk with the No Grease and uh, he learns all about the Wookiees. That's it's it's not gone. That's what I say, guys. If you like it, it's not gone. It's still there. They can say it's not canon. You can say whatever the fuck you want. Is in nineteen seventy eight. Is called Splinter of the Mind's Eye yes, by read Alan this one. Dean Foster. Uh, do not recommend. The artwork Weird on the front name. is really cool, and um, and Alan Dean Foster does go on to write a lot of really cool things uh but adding the new canon books that i've read not as good i I can i can name on i can name three books out of the series that i've actually enjoyed reading otherwise i think they're just nowhere near as good as the original stuff didn't read any of those i got so invested in the previous canon i i've read so many books to say why would i start again i'm just gonna be disappointed do you like dark disciple Dark Disciple had some moments that I really liked. Um, I liked the characters in it. Uh, but I don't like the, and I know I know the reason they did this is because they don't have anything written for these characters. Um, but I don't like the ending, and I don't want to spoil it for anyone who wants to. Um, I just I didn't care for the ending. I just I felt like it was rushed and they had all of this momentum built up but then they were like, well, we can't really give a definitive, so we're just going to give a cheap here's what happens sort of ending to it. And I'm not I'm not down with it. The worst new Star Wars book I've read is Phasma. There's book that, for Phasma? There's a book for Phasma. Why? The, that's why it's why on you friend. <laughs> why the author is christy golden who has done some pretty good wow like world of warcraft books and some other things this one i just i wanted to like it uh, i'll let you know not much about it is about phasma so yeah Ooh, that would make sense it's nothing and it's we called know phasma. About phasma.